find the values of the unknown angles in the figure below. So this is the figure we are to find the angle B and C form. So from here, when we look at these two angles, they are on a straight line and they are adjacent to each other two. So one property of a straight line is that angles on adjacent straight line sum up to 180. So we are going to add 117 MB and then we equate it to 7, uh, 180. So we're going to get 117 degrees plus 3 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So when we make B the subject, we are going to get B is equal to 180 minus 117 degrees. So once I subtract 117 from 180, we are going to get B is equal to 63 degrees. So now we know 63 to be, we know B to be 63. And then one property of, one property of collateral is that the sum of interior angles of collateral sum up to 360. So what we are going to do is that we add this side, plus this side, plus this side, plus this side, and then equate it to 360. So we're going to get 105 degrees plus C degrees plus 120 degrees plus, you know, B to be 63. 63 degrees is equal to 360. And then when we add 105 plus 120 plus 63, we are going to get 288 plus C degrees is equal to 360 degrees. So make C the subject. C is equal to 360 degrees minus 288 degrees. Which you are going to get C is equal to 72 degrees. Find the values of the unknown angles in the figure below. So this is the figure. And then when we look at when we look at it, we can see that the angles are around the point. And then angles around the point sum up to 360. So we're going to get 36 3x plus 50 plus 5x minus 40 plus 2x plus 20 is equal to 360. 3x plus 5x plus 2x, we are going to get 10x. 50 minus 40 is 10. And then 10 plus 20 is 30. Plus 30 is equal to 360 degrees. And I'm going to get 10x is equal to, we send this one to the other side, 360 minus 30 degrees. So 10x is equal to, once I subtract this from this, you are going to get 330 degrees. And I make F the side there. So we divide both sides by 10. We're going to get S is equal to 330 over 10. So S is equal to 33 degrees. Find the value of the unknown angle in the figure below. So this is the diagram. And then we have to find Q over here. But when we look at this side, this angle is vertically opposite to this angle. And vertically opposite angles are the same or are equal. So we can see that angle EFA, 
BFE is equal to angle BFH. Angle BFH is equal to 52 degrees. So we now know that here is 52 degrees. Uh, looking at this one too, this side and then this side correspond to each other. And the corresponding angles are equal. So we can say that angle BFH, oh yes, this one, is equal to angle D. J H angle D J H is equal to 52 degrees. So here is 52 degrees. And then now what is left here is a triangle. Triangle. So one property of a triangle is that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle sum up to 180. So we are going to add this, 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 and then equate it to 180. So we're going to get Q plus 52 plus 32 is equal to 180. And Q plus 52 plus 32, we are going to get 84 is equal to 180. Now I want to make sure the subject. I'm going to get Q is equal to 180 minus 84. And then Q is equal to 180 minus 84. I'm going to get 96. This is the So Q is 96 degrees. Find the values of the unknown angles in the figure below. So we have to find X, Z, Q, and P. So let's start with x first. When we look at this, angles on the adjacent straight line sum up to 180. So we are going to get 120 plus x is equal to 180 degrees. So we make a subject. We are going to get x is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So S is equal to 60 degrees. So we've gotten the angle for X. So here is now 60 degrees. And then when we look at this one, 50 is vertically opposite to Z. So we can say that Z is equal to 50. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Or we can find X in this way. Now that we know X to be 60 and then we know that here is 70, we can use the properties of a triangle. Please states that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle of a triangle is equal to 180. So you can add this, 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 and then equate it to 180. So we're going to get Z plus 60 degrees plus 70 degrees is equal to 180. Z plus 60, 60 plus 70, you are going to get 130. 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So you make Z the subject. Z is equal to 180 minus 180 degrees. Which you are going to get Z is equal to 50 degrees. Same as this one. Or better still, one another property of triangle is that sum of two opposite sides of a triangle is equal to one exterior angle. So let's see. Z plus 70. Z plus this should be equal to this. It's equal to 120. And Z is equal to 
120 minus 70, which I'm going to get z is equal to 50. 50 degrees. Same as this, this, and then this. So now that's left with P and Q. So looking at P, when we, when we draw this line, we can see that P and 50 are on, the, are on the straight line, which we are going to use this same approach. Angles on adjacent straight line sum up to 180. So we're going to get P plus 50 degrees is equal to 180. And then you make it P the subject. So P is equal to 180 minus 50 degrees. P therefore is equal to 130 degrees. So having done this, we know that P is 130 now. 130 degrees over here. And then when we look at this one too, we can see that P is vertically opposite to Q. So we can say Q is equal to 130. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So that is the angles for P, Q, and then Z. Find the size of the angles marked with lowercase letters. So this is the diagram. And then we have to find A, B, C, and then D. So when we look at the diagram carefully, we are going to realize that 70 and this angle are alternate angles. And alternate angles are equal. So angle P, A, B. P, A, B is equal to Angle A, B, S. A, B, S. Alternate angles are equal. So angle P, A, B is 70. And then angle ABS is 12 plus A. So when we make A the subject, we are going to get A is equal to 70 minus 12. A is equal to 58. That is for A. So now we've got in A. So this side becomes 58. Then when we add 12 and 50 is going to get 70 which means that this side is equal to this side in B so let's move on to B and now when we look at where the B is we can see that B is in a triangle we know this side we know this side this side is unknown so we're going to use the property of triangle which states that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle sum up to 180. So we're going to get D plus here is now 70 plus 50 is equal to 180. So B plus 70 plus 50 is 120. This is equal to 180. When we make B the subject, we are going to get B is equal to 180 minus 120. Then B is equal to 60 degrees. So we know of A and B. So now here is 60 degrees. So we are moving on to find the C. Look at where the C is. We can realize that there is some triangle over here. This, this, and then this. So what we do is that we have two sides over here and then an exterior side over here. 
So there is one property of triangle. Please state that the sum of two opposite sides of a triangle is equal to one exterior angle. So by that property, C plus 12 should be equal to 70. I'm going to get C plus 12 is equal to 70 degrees. So you're going to get C is equal to 70 minus 12. And then C is equal to 58 degrees. So now let's move on to find the D. D is out over here. But then we can say that D is vertically opposite to this side. So that we use the property of triangle to find D. So if D is equal to this side, so let's write C and C G C is equal to angle A G B. Vertically opposite angle are equal. So if here is equal to here, then you are going to get D to be this. So we now know that B is 60 and then here is 12. So we have to find D. So we go ahead and use the property of triangle. So we are going to get 60 plus 12 plus D. 60 plus 12 plus D which is equal to 180 degrees. And then 60 plus 12, we're going to get 72 degrees plus D is equal to 180 degrees. So when we make D the subject, we are going to get D is equal to 180 minus 72. And then D is equal to 180 minus 72, we are going to get 108 degrees. That is all for A, B, C, and then D. Find the values of the unknown angles in the figure below. So this is the diagram. You have to find X and Y. And then from here, this angle and then this angle are alternate angles. And then we know that alternate angles are equal to angle D, G, G. Is equal to angle E, G, H. P is equal to 70. So you can see that Y is equal to 70 degrees. That is for Y. And then looking at this one too, this angle and then this angle are alternate angles. So angle B, C, G. Angle B, C, E is equal to angle D, G, B. D, G, B is equal to X. So we now know that here is S degrees. And then angles on a straight line sum up to 180. So we are going to get 120 plus x is equal to 180 degrees. And in the subject, we are going to get s is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So s is equal to 180 minus 120, we are going to get 60 degrees.